Shabbat Shalom. Well, I'm still bearded as I'm recording this before Tisha B'Av. I am recording this for Tu B'Av, the 15th of Av, which is this Shabbat. Tu B'Av is a Jewish Valentine's or Sadie Hawkins Day, depending on how one looks at it. And while the Mishnah says it was one of the two most joyous days, the other being Yom Kippur, which we can talk about at another occasion. Why is this Shabbat, the Etchanan, so joyous? Because we have the reading of the Ten Commandments, as well as a reading of the Shema, the best known piece of our liturgy. There was a time when the Ten Commandments was part of our liturgy as well, but it was excised for fear that people would prioritize those 10 at the expense of the other 603 commandments. So now the 10 commandments has become even more special because we only read it three times a year as opposed to every day. Whereas the Shema we read each and every day. And as we think about the Shema on this day of Tuba'ah, this day of love and joy and comfort, we think, what does it really mean to listen? That's what Israel is commanded, to listen, that Adonai is our God, Adonai is one, or Adonai alone. Why do we say this? The reason we say and emphasize it, doing it twice a day, every day of the year, is because it's so easy to forget. It's so easy to take things for granted. And when times are good, it's so easy to have God get lost in the shuffle of life. So we're reminded, bind it as a sign upon your hand, have it as frontless between your eyes, put it on the doors of your house. We need signs. We need reminders. And we need that, especially now, that Tisha B'Av has passed. We need to remember that while there are tragedies that have befallen our people, things on the whole are good and celebratory, not just with Tu B'Av, but with each and every day we have blessings, we have sources of joy in our lives that we need to emphasize. So, I pray that as we read this on Parshat Ve'erchanam, the Ten Commandments and the Shema, that everyone has a good Tuba Av and a good rest of the month of Av, which is celebratory after Tisha B'Av. And then when we get to Elul, we'll start to talk about what it's like to prepare for the high holy days in good time. Shabbat Shalom.